We're at the top of the waterfall. It's time for us to make the faceplate attachment. Our waterfall spillway is right behind this. And I have just a couple tools, a screwdriver, got a little impact wrench, and the caulking gun with our, with our sealant. And as you can see, we're right up close to the top. This one might be even a little troublesome because I have this big character stone already in the way, but maybe we'll move that. Uh, let's go ahead and take this apart for starters. Okay, so I got all my mechanical pieces set aside. I'm gonna just grab a rag and just do a little cleaning on this. Just roughly for starters. As you can see, we have a lot of excess liner up here. We are gonna cut some of it off, but I don't wanna make it real tight. If you went tight like this, you wouldn't have any room for error or any settlement at all. It would just be too tight. So what we're gonna do is we're going to reserve some excess liner in, in a fold like this. See how I'm, I'm, I can feel that opening right here. And I have this little flap right here. And that enables us to have a nice flat face like that. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna peel this back a little. And I'm gonna grab our two side pieces that go here. And what I wanna do is establish, first off, where that's gonna go in. So <clears throat> I'm back up here. And I'm gonna, I can feel the hole through there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, run a screwdriver through that. So I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I am going to feel for that hole. There's, there's the bolt hole right there. And I'm gonna take my, my mechanical attachment piece and put it on just like so. So I have it set up here. I'm gonna push that through and hold that up just like that. Now what I wanna do is establish the other side. I'll have it nice and smooth across the face here. What we don't want to do is establish like a wrinkle right here. See, if we did something like that, we'd probably have a leak in there. <clears throat> so, this piece is in, come down nice and smooth, work our way across, come up, and I'll feel that hole right there, and I'll go ahead and puncture the next piece. <clears throat> Get my piece set up like this. Okay, so I have the two pieces hooked up. The next step is for me to peel this back and then I can really clean everything up because I know where my bands are gonna be. So if you can see right here, I know my attachment's coming through here. So I have a, a damp towel and I'm gonna come through and wipe all that dust off. See that? Now I can go ahead and wipe the powder off the liner where I know it's gonna to connect to. Now I, want, I know I won't have any dust that interrupts my sealant. Okay, so I'll let that dry a little bit. If you'll notice, I have all my hardware reserved close by. 
it's all stainless steel hardware so you know if you ever wanted to use salt to medicate your koi you're not gonna have to worry about the hardware rusting out okay so that's drying off nicely so the next step is for me to put the sealant on there silicone or polyurethane works fine and I don't need a I don't need a lot I just need a nice little bead on there so when we push the liner up against it you'll this quarter inch bead turns into about an inch so I'm just gonna come and right across our bolt holes Get a better angle on this side. So this is a fat quarter inch bead and as I said you don't really need a whole lot more than that because when we push the liner up against this that quarter inch bead will flatten out and it'll cover pretty much this entire inch and a half to two inches will be coated in in sealant. Okay so We have our sealant ready and everything's clean. I still have my two bolt pieces attached right here, you see? And I'll come in first with this guy. Push that on. Come to this side and do the same. So that stuff is pretty sticky, so the liner sticks to it. Okay, so it's established right there, and that sealant is holding the liner to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the, the nuts on the back side of these bolts. And that'll hold the, everything in place while I line the rest of the pieces together. So I have this lined up, and I can feel the inner wall of the waterfall filter right there. So I'll line that up. Make my puncture. Slide in the bolt. Install the nut. And I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat that same thing on the other side. Nice and flat. All the way across. I can feel the inner wall of the waterfall filter make that puncture so everything's lined up exactly where I need it to be at this point I can take my bottom band press it flat Line it up. Find my hole easy like that. Once you have everything lined up, you're essentially home free. Now the, the sealant takes a little bit of time to, to set up. It's not like you only have 15 minutes to get this thing done before it all sets up. But you don't want to stop and take lunch at this point of the game. You want to go ahead and finish the whole thing off. So I usually will come through and grab all my bolts. And then I can just plug them in as I go down the line. Watch this. So I'll punch that through, come to the next one, and then push through. I'm not even worried about putting the nuts in there yet. I'm just lining them all up, getting them in place. So 
So now we have all the, the hardware punched through. All I have to do is come through the back here and then I can put on all the nuts.